All right, gentlemen. Coach, why don't you start with an opening statement? Well, it was a, a great pitch game uh, by both pitches. I mean, two nothing is two nothing. Um, Charlie kept ahead of all the batters, and uh, for a freshman, he has held his composure throughout the whole year, and uh, really has done an amazing job uh, letting the defense make plays and not letting the moment get too big for him. This is the second big game he's pitched in, in an elimination in a week. Um, so I'm very proud of him and his partner here. His backstop has been there throwing him all year long, teaching him the ropes of uh, this league, or all conference, I should say, and uh, the batters that are there. So Charlie, like Coach said, this is your second time in a week by pitching an elimination game. What did you learn earlier in the week that helped you today? I guess just don't let the nerves get too much. Um, I have a tendency to go too quick sometimes, so I gotta take the deep breath behind the mouth, keep my composure, get the next pitch in there. And so what was working so well for you today? Uh, I, I feel like personally I had really good velocity, but I feel like it was more just the curveball and then being able to keep them off guard. Okay. And you're behind the plate, when, could you feel like you could call anything? I know you're working with your coaches on that, but he, I mean he was hitting his spots every time you were... Yeah, no, I felt really comfortable with uh, the pick selection. I felt like he could throw his fastball on any count. I felt like he could throw his curveball on any count. He was uh, sp uh, spotting up, in and out, up. He got the curveball in for a strike, first pitch. So I felt confident in him throwing any pitch at any time. Yeah. So, and how important was it for you guys to get uh, get up early, to score that run early, and, and to be able to be definitely, play from the lead? Definitely. Uh, these, listen, all these teams are going to be good. They're all going to be good. So getting uh, getting the advantage in right away helps us out in the long run. We, uh, we usually rely on our bats, but our pitching has been going insane and has been uh, giving us a little bit of leeway. So for them to step up and for them to throw strikes early and get outs on the field, it's more than I can ask for. Yeah. It seemed like they were pretty aggressive uh, with the sticks. I mean, you were, getting, they were, you were getting a lot of guys. They were swinging the bat uh, quick. I mean, you were, you were working fast. Was, is that what you were you're aiming for? Or were you just trying to, like, all right, go throw it out there, let, let the guys in the back and do the job? Yeah, quick, quick outs, because <laughs> especially on a day like this, Limit the pitch count as much as I can. How many did I throw? 96, I think. Yeah. yeah. 96. And the same thing. All the credit is him today. He called the whole game. Really? An outstanding nice job. Well. Oh, congratulations. We've got two smart catchers, <laughs> and they both of them do their job very well. And Dante, who closed the game out, another freshman, uh, just comes in and uh, he did a great job of just pounding the strikes out, getting ahead, first pitch. You know, you're up by two. The guys are going to take a little bit. They're going to look to see where he's going to throw. And uh, he did his job too. It was a team effort today on the mound right. and behind the dish. That's a good job. So, all right, what does this mean for tonight? Like, what are you, what are you guys going to do? You can get off your feet, get out of the sun, where you can stick around. After a long day, we're going to go get something to eat right now, uh, cool down for a couple hours, and then come back and watch the end of the game and get ready for the next one. All right. So, very good. Okay. Gentlemen, thank you so much and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, nailed it. Nailed it. Nailed it.